So that sound in the background is the sound the car makes when your taxi hits it in front of your hotel. And how do we know that? Because that's what happened to us a few hours ago. So one of the most exciting things about our day was one, getting pulled aside by Israeli security, wanting to know exactly why we're going to Ramallah, and then taking a cab ride from Ben Gurion Airport to Tel Aviv, and as we pulled into the hotel uh, driveway, the taxi driver hit a car, we got out, paid him, and then he quickly drove away. What else has happened today other than a, the, the, uh, the car accident? Uh, well, also we found that our two major scenes uh, that we were setting up here in Tel Aviv and uh, the West Bank have fallen through. So we were supposed to go see uh, a taping of Homeland on a string and got an email here this morning that said, oh, our director's out of the country till the 22nd. So, but it'll still be lovely to see you, uh, which I'm sure will be the case. And then also our six o'clock appointment at a cafe with a local professor is going to be just with the local professor and not with the Holocaust survivor who uh, we had expected. Because who wants to meet with a Holocaust survivor to begin with? <laughs> well, we're going to have to meet with one at some point. And, uh, you know, every day that we go is one, uh, one day too long, basically. So, we'll see what happens. Other than that, how was your day been? It's been good. We, uh, we saw uh, um, Jaffa, the old, the old city, and uh, went to a wonderful uh, cafe there. And then also went down to the beach and, uh, and had a wonderful Israeli breakfast to start the day. And uh, I'm just amazed at the, uh, the fortitude at which this car alarm is able to uh, persist. If only we can have such fortitude. <laughs> <Same. laughs> <Same> fortitude. <laughs>